my name is Karin Kappe. Uh, I work at the Ministry of Finance in Sweden. Uh, and uh, I'll, due to age, have to have uh, glasses to, to see what I've been writing. Uh, I won't say uh, so very much about responsible gam gaming as such, um, but uh, more give you an overview of recent developments in Sweden regarding gambling regulation. Uh, to start with, uh, I'll say something about the current legislation. And that is the, the Lotteries Act that has been into force since uh, 1995. Uh, the Act aims to establish a gambling market that is safe and sound uh, with the legal and the reliable uh, operators that provide safe games and where social protection is in focus and the demand for gambling is met in a controlled way. In order to fulfill that aim, the Lottery Act states that a license is required in order to organize a lottery. A license can only be granted if the lottery will be provided in a manner appropriate from a general point of view. Um, and that means that uh, if you don't have a license, it is illegal to provide lotteries to the general public. Uh, but we all know that is happening anyway in Sweden today. Uh, private profit operators can, as a general principle, not get a license to provide lotteries in Sweden. And the basis for the principle is that profit from lotteries is reserved to uh, public interests, which means the state and non-profit um, organizations working for good causes. That principle has been tested and was approved by the European Court of Justice in the Sjöberg-Jedin case. Uh, but uh, I think you all know that the, maybe the, the, the Commission isn't agreeing with us that the, 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 our legislation is uh, uh, a good one. So the, you, we have uh, three different cases uh, with the Commission. Uh, two that has reached uh, the stage of recent opinion, and that is the betting on sports events and the online poker. And one that is uh, uh, in the stage of formal notice. Uh, and that is about land-based and online casinos. But it's uh, in basic the same legislation in all three uh, cases. Uh, the European Commission states that the way the Swedish exclusive rights system for sports betting and poker online uh, is organized is inconsistent with the aim of achieving the public uh, policy objectives of preventing problem gambling and criminal activities. The Commission also finds that the holder of the exclusive right, that is the state-owned company Svenska Spel, is not subject to strict state control. And furthermore, uh, the Commission thinks that uh, Sweden is imposing restrictions on organization and promotion of online betting services in a way which is inconsistent with EU law. And as I said in general, the reasoning behind uh, the third case uh, is the same as the two first. Um, and of course, the Swedish position is that both the legislation and how the exclusive rights system is organized are consistent with EU law. Um, and as you all probably know, uh, the Commission uh, announced in a press release uh, almost a year ago, in October last year, that it would refer the two cases regarding sports betting and online poker uh, to the European Court of Justice. Uh, but we have not yet received uh, any court order and uh, we can only speculate about uh, the reason for that. Uh, maybe the Commission also has realized that they don't have as a clear-cut case as they thought after all. Uh, uh, as I said before, the government uh, considers the Swedish gambling uh, legislation to be uh, consistent with, e with EU law. And uh, I also said that one aim with the Swedish legislation is to exclude private profit operators. And it is due to conditions set out by the parliament for the interpretation of the Lottery Act that private profit operators cannot be granted a license to provide a lottery. 
However, uh, the Swedish government has taken note of the criticism that the article under which it grants licenses to the state-owned company Svenska Spel and the state-controlled uh, company ATG can be misunderstood. The relevant article in the Lottery Act, giving the government the right to grant licenses to provide lotteries, can be interpreted as a right for any gambling operator uh, to seek and get a license, in spite of the aim with the legislation. Therefore, the Ministry of Finance published a report last week proposing some changes in the Lotteries Act uh, in order to make uh, the licensing process more transparent. The report suggests making it clear that only state-owned and state-controlled companies can meet the requirement uh, for a license. And uh, furthermore, uh, the, the report proposes that uh, commercial communication has to meet especially high demands of social responsibility. And uh, there is a ban against offering gambling services in commercial communication to minors and uh, an age limit for participating in, in uh, lotteries. There are age limits for, for different kinds of, of games in the Act, but now it, it will be a general uh, demand. And uh, the report is out on public consultation at the moment. We also have in the Lottery Act a ban on promoting participation in lotteries that don't hold a license in Sweden. And there was a committee report uh, presented to the Minister for Public Administration in March this year. Uh, the reason for assigning the committee uh, was a judgment from the Swedish Supreme Court in 2012. Uh, the, the Supreme Court found that criminal responsibility and the sanctions for promoting lotteries organized outside Sweden could differ uh, from those promoting lotteries organized illegally within Sweden. And that was considered to be discriminating and inconsistent with the EU law. The report proposes that the article in the Lotteries Act regulating the ban on promoting participation in lotteries uh, that lacks a license is changed and they also, it also uh, proposes to adjust the sanctions uh, for the ban so that they are the same reg regardless where the lottery is uh, organized. And uh, that report is also out on public consultation at the moment. Um, and that was the changes uh, uh, within the current legislation. But we also uh, ha have, or the government, I'd say, uh, has taken a, a decision to uh, put up a public inquiry for a new legislation. Uh, since technical development has made the gambling easily accessible, uh, games and gambling are available everywhere and uh, whenever you want and the current legislation is not made for that kind of market. That is uh, true. And that has led to that about 20% of the total uh, market, the gambling market in Sweden, and more than 50% of the online market is with operators that don't hold a license in Sweden. And that weakens the consumer protection and makes it hard for, for Swedish authorities to enforce the current legislation. So in order to uh, regain control, over the gambling market, uh, the government decided to sign a public inquiry, a one-man committee, or a one-woman maybe, to propose a new gambling legislation. And the aim uh, is to create a gambling market characterized by consumer protection uh, on a high level and secure games and transparent licensing uh, conditions. Any operator meeting uh, uh, the requirements in the law uh, should be able to get a license. So that will differ from today's uh, system. And any operator wanting to provide games on the Swedish market has to hold a license. Uh, social responsibility has to be prioritized and negative consequences from gambling should be limited in a new system. And that committee will have until March 2007, no, sorry, 17, to deliver a report uh, uh, with a proposal for a new legislation. Thank you.